Hello and welcome back to the channel. So this past week I've been cracking on with removing the or replacing the head gasket on the MG and I've gone as far as the crank bolt pulley. So I've been struggling to get this off, tried the conventional way of just a socket uh, and a breaker bar and some extensions and of course as you move it it turns the pulley around uh, or the engine around. So even with somebody stood on the brakes, stood on, uh, you know, putting it in fifth gear, it's it's still turning it around. The brakes aren't going to be that effective anyway because it's got new discs and pads on and it needs bleeding. So as you can see, it's it's not. Um, in fact, the whole car is pretty rusty underneath. Um, so tried using an impact wrench. Got a, a Milwaukee three eighths stubby impact, uh, which is good for around 339 newton meters of torque. Now the bolt itself should only be torqued down to about 205 newton meters according to the manual, um, but it wasn't budging it one bit. So using a four amp hour battery, fully charged, didn't touch it. Um, using the highest setting, mode three, it wasn't budging it an inch. For the rest of the week, every morning, as I passed the car on the way to work, sprayed it with WD-40 just to see if it would help. Um, but no, it's not budged it one bit. Now, this is a fantastic tool. It's taken every bolt off the car without breaking a sweat. Um, but we are stuck on this one. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take off the starter motor and put in a, a proprietary tool that locks into the teeth of the fly, flywheel. But I don't have that tool, so ta-da! Purchased this uh, M18 Milwaukee high torque impact, which should be good for a breakaway torque of about 1890 something newton meters so my n new worry is that it's going to shear the bolt off so we're going to take it quite slow and steady um, now the bolt itself is a 22 mil socket and i have been using impact rated things on the stubby um, so as not to damage the quite rusty bolt my worry is that you know it gets rounded off so because it's on extensions, um, it is going to be robbing some torque from the tool. However, it should still have been more than enough, I thought anyway, to, to break that away. Now, I don't know when this last had a cam belt change um, or any, any kind of change belt service or anything. I've got no history of the car pretty much. So this might be just seized in there. I don't know. So with the stubby going straight in at level three, um, just to give you some idea of what goes on when we try and take it off. It's uh, really struggling to do it. Turns it around a little bit, um, but it's, it's not budging it. So, with the M18, I'm going to start off slow on, it's got four modes, I'm going to start off on level one, um, slow and steady, fingers crossed it doesn't shear anything off, and let's get again using an impact rated extension but a chrome vanadium a standard chrome vanadium um, socket because that's all i've got and so it is a bit of a worry because with the teeth on it it's uh, there's a risk of rounding the thing off and then we're in serious trouble now because this is a one key tool um, you can play around with the settings of the torque on the phone through the app um, i'm gonna have to do some more reading about that from what people show you online, they are pretty consistent figures, but um, for the sake of just getting on with it, straight in at uh, level one. See what happens. And when I did this, it, that level one setting did feel similar to the Stubby's level three. That's probably not going to stack up. So level two. And then nothing. So this is where I'm starting to get in a little bit concerned because it wasn't wasn't budging it at all, but level three came straight off, just like that. And it makes a mockery of you, really, because it, you see, I mean, you see all these YouTube videos of people taking difficult crank pulley bolts off, you know, one of the tightest bolts, if not the tightest bolt on a car. Um, you see them doing them on Honda cars, which are notorious for struggling to get them off, and it just makes it look so easy. But bolt a bit of surface rust the threads seem to be okay no thread rock locker on there either uh, and the pulley at best I'd say that's probably in a 
serviceable condition um, so a bit of clean up on the old pulley and uh, it should be okay but uh, next we'll be getting on with removing the the cover there and then we'll get to slacking off the tension and making sure it's tightened up of course and then removing the belt so uh, yep that'll be in our next video thanks for listening